you guys. I am currently sitting in my front yard on a blanket um, because it has been, when I got home today, it was like 83 degrees outside and I decided to take advantage of the sunlight and the heat and just be lazy in my front yard. So for like the past hour and a half, I have been laying on a blanket in my front yard listening to music and reading a book. Um, and it's been fantastic. Right now the sun is right in front of me and the light is super odd. But it was just such a pretty day and the kind of days that I really look forward to in springtime especially because um, it's just... It's, there's a breeze, so even though it was like in the 80s, it felt just so comfortable and I got to just relax and put my feet in the grass. The ground's still a little damp because we've had water, um, water, rain, um, a lot of rain actually recently. And so, um, I have a blanket or actually a quilt and a couple of books and it's just been the most peaceful and enjoyable thing that I've done recently and it was so nice just to lay on the grass and I feel very like Walt Whitman-y or um, Henry David Thoreau-esque like I'm writing a, a dissertation about nature and next I'll be you know bellowing oh captain my captain or talking about Walden Pond but there's just something like I'm I love all of the seasons, and I really enjoyed winter. I like snow. I like snow days. I like, you know, everything that there is to offer in winter. I mean, I don't even really mind the cold because I like to be bundled up in, like, hoodies or jackets and quilts and stuff. Like, that's all things that are enjoyable to me. But I really miss being able to be outside and to do things. Um, during the summer, I work a compost heap that I keep going pretty pretty regularly. Um, I mess with that. I have an herb garden. My grandmother, actually, you can see, like, right there in front of the tulip. We're not, not tulips. Those are daffodils. Right in front of the daffodils, um, she plants tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that that we eat, or I don't eat tomatoes, but that we, that she eats and things will, like cucumbers that we have, and I, she's 85 years old, so I work that for her, and I work my herb bed and harvest herbs and stuff, and I rake the grass after my cousin mows our front yard. I, you know, I play outside with the cousins. I swim in my aunt's pool. You know, I really like being outside, you know, and that's something that I really miss in the wintertime. So, even though, like, it's early April and we'll have, it's supposed to be back down in, like, the 50s in the weekend, but all week it's supposed to be up in, like, the 80s and high 70s, which is un... Like, that's completely ridiculous in a way. But, um, so my plan is to just enjoy all of that and to laze about and just enjoy everything that nature has to offer. Um, so bright. Sorry, I was distracted by the view in the back of my camera. All of our trees, um, they think that I think that I saw some buds starting on, um, Right in front of me there's a walnut tree and I can see leaves starting to bud out. And it's so exciting because I I just, I love the rebirth and the renewal of spring. And how things are just new then. And you get to start fresh. Like technically it's three to four months. Like it's four months since the beginning of the year. And you would think logically that, you know, January would be the time that you start things again. But it's still winter and it's still dreary and it's cold and it's... It's so easy to just be distracted by how gross the landscape is and how gross the weather can be. And spring just offers something different. And so it was nice just to experience today a fresh start. So if you all spent your time lounging or let me know what your favorite lounging times are. Bye!